With Battlefield 5 just about to launch for players who pre-ordered the standard edition that comes out on the 20th of November, nearly everyone is now playing this game and there's going to be an influx of more players over the next couple of days. During a live stream last week for the deluxe edition launch, DICE revealed some details and gameplay of upcoming editions as part of the Tides of War. That's the live service that's going to be giving out free content to every Battlefield 5 player. We got some gameplay from the Panzerstorm map coming in the first chapter overture, and we got some footage of the practice range as well. Now the gameplay quality isn't the best, but it's the first proper look we're getting at these two items. As the gameplay is already playing, let's start off by talking about Panzerstorm. As we already know, this is a map set in Belgium in 1940, and it depicts the German Blitzkrieg charging across mainland Europe and forcing the Allies into a full-scale retreat. At the moment, DICE is setting up the map to be focused extremely heavily on ground vehicle gameplay. And when I got the chance to play this map in Stockholm at the DICE offices a few weeks ago, it was abundantly clear that the map is built from the ground up to facilitate that ground vehicle gameplay. You might have noticed, however, that the gameplay running in the background at the moment is mainly infantry gameplay. There is plenty of opportunity for infantry to succeed on this map, and that's something that I do want to emphasise here, because the talk about this map so far has mainly been around vehicles, but I played this map twice at the capture event a couple of weeks ago in Stockholm as well. I think we played two, may, might have been three rounds, I'm not 100% sure, but I spent most of my time playing as an infantry soldier. I'm not really a vehicle player. There's this string of three flags in the middle, and all of them provide enough cover on them and between them to support some good infantry gameplay. Now, I'm not saying that it's the best infantry gameplay map in the entirety of Battlefield 5, that's just not going to happen. There's still a clear emphasis here on ground vehicle combat, but there are areas of the map that do support infantry gameplay. There is also support for aerial gameplay here on Panzerstorm. I think there were three plane spawns per team, and those sit alongside the seven tank spawns that each team got. So at any one time, there could be 14 tanks and six planes flying around this map. You can really tell that this is a vehicle-focused one. There are plenty of transport vehicles as well, so if infantry players wanted to make a move across the map to another flag, there is a good way for them to do that without having to run out in the open or try and move from bush to bush to maintain cover. Now according to the devs on the live stream, this gameplay was shown on, fortifications will be a big part of the map for infantry players as well, putting cover back up after the tanks smash it down. Of course, this map won't be for everybody, and I do think that infantry players will probably try and avoid it for the most part, but if you are willing to jump into a vehicle as a passenger, maybe be a gunner or something like that, there is still an opportunity for you to do things, but with the distance between each flag being quite large, you do spend quite a lot of time just moving between flags, and it's going to be the guy who's on the main cannon of a tank who's going to be having the most fun here. According to the devs on the live stream, however, fortifications will be a big part of the map for infantry players, putting back cover after tanks just smash it on down. So there are things for you to do as an infantry player, but in general, it's a large open field map that's dominated by armour, and a lot of the time, your squishy infantry body is just not going to survive. So I think it's going to be a bit of a Marmite map. Some people will love it, others will hate it. Me as an infantry player, I'm probably going to avoid it, but when it comes out on December the 4th, I'm going to give it a go, that's for sure. With December the 4th being the launch date, that's just over two weeks away. That means all players jumping into Battlefield 5 with the Standard Edition or a few days after, they won't have to wait long for the live service to start up and the new content starts rolling in. And players from the Deluxe Edition and Origin Access Premiere, we've experienced the base game content for probably a week or so now. I wouldn't say I'm bored of it, I'm still really, really enjoying it, but having another map thrown into the mix is always a nice thing to have. And of course, it's free. You don't have to pay for it. It might not be the best map for everybody, but it's another map for you to play, and if you like vehicle combat, then I think you will like it. So that was Panzerstorm, and now on to the practice range. This got a neat little showcase trailer in the live stream. I'm going to play that opening for you now. I think it's quite cool. Troops, welcome to the range. It's here that you'll refine your skill sets to help you on the battlefield. 
There are several areas throughout, each focusing on a different aspect of combat. I recommend you try them all in your own time and always try to beat... I got to see that at the launch capture event in Stockholm and I assumed this was some kind of internal trailer or something. I didn't think DICE would be releasing this publicly, but they have. It's got a really nice tone to it. I like the music that they chose and it shows the team is having some fun developing this content for the live service and that fun theme kind of runs through with the practice range. This is basically DICE's answer to players who want a place to test things out and try new things without being subjected to that live multiplayer environment. I don't know about you, but in previous games it was kind of annoying if a brand new helicopter pilot decided to take controls in Battlefield 3 and then just crash land you into a building and killed you all. Now those players don't have to do that, they can learn to fly here in planes instead. The practice range when it launches will have a shooting range, a motor range, flight practice and target practice as locations, and the names of those will kind of let you know what you're going to be doing in each different location. The shooting range allows you to move targets backwards and forwards on these little carts so you can set different distances and that way you can get your eye in for bullet drop on different weapons. I'd say that would be particularly helpful for snipers. The target practice section, that includes quite a few different activities, but here you can see targets pop up in front of you for you to shoot. That will help you get your eye in for targets at range and there's another here that will help you hone in some twitch aiming and you can see the button sort of moves around the smiley face see what i meant about the fun element here yeah you move around the smiley face and you have to hit the target really quickly it kind of reminds me of some of those csgo fan made tutorial things that's the kind of vibe that i'm getting here the motor range allows you to practice your driving skills and you can use the switch there to spawn in different vehicles, the whichever one you want. You hit the switch again and it will spawn in something different. There'll also be a bunch of checkpoints set up across the map and it's kind of like this racetrack around the map and then you drive through them and once you set a time and you've completed it, you can then try and beat that time or you can challenge your friends to do that if you want to. And lastly, there's a flight practice section as well, which like the motor range allows you to spawn in different planes using the switch and then you can just jump in, fly around and get a feel for plane controls. AI planes will spawn in as well and you can use those as targets. Different planes have different weapons so understanding how those fire and how those feel is definitely important when you transfer over into multiplayer. Now, after the clip was shown on the live stream, community manager Dan Mitri did confirm as well that this version of the practice range is just the beginning. DICE is planning to add more sections to it as the live service continues, and mainly what those sections are will be determined by the community. If there's a feature that we'd like to see, the devs are listening and they will take note of that, and they'll see if there's a way to implement it into the practice range. And, as a very nice little tease, Mitri also stated that he played with Braddock together in the same practice range. So it's likely this will be some kind of co-op online section to the game where you can squad up and join the practice range together, do challenges and compete against one another as well, which is really, really cool. I was expecting it to just be a solo experience, but if you can play together with other players and especially your friends, that could be really awesome to see. Now I can see the practice range being of great benefit to a lot of new players to Battlefield and perhaps some of the older players who've skipped the last few games. My girlfriend Jess, she was a massive Battlefield 3 fan, but she hasn't played any of the Battlefield titles since. And she actually said to me when she was watching the live stream over my shoulder that she'd really like to use the practice range to help get a feel for the gunplay because of how raw it is and because of how long it's been since she last played a Battlefield game. She's a great medic, by the way, always handing out meds and reviving the squad. The practice range is also launching on December the 4th. That's the same day as the Panzerstorm map. So that's two big elements coming to Battlefield 5 very soon. And these also come alongside the last Tiger War story, vehicle cosmetic customization, and I'm guessing even more. We know there are weapons coming in Chapter 1 as well, but DICE hasn't detailed those yet. If I find out more information, of course I'll make a video on it. Chapter 1 does appear to be absolutely full of content. 
So that's pretty much what you can expect to come to Battlefield 5 soon, but if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go back and play some more of the content that we have right now. I've just discovered how awesome the 1907 SF is in the Assault class. It's another Battlefield 1 weapon, completely transformed for Battlefield 5, and likely I'll be making a video on that weapon at some point this week. But for now, let me know what you think of that Panzer Storm gameplay and the little peek there that we got at the practice range as well. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you're thinking. But thank you very much for watching today, and until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.